Our next concept is floating field in Adobe Forms. So what is meant by floating field and what is the purpose of this floating field? What, what is the use of this floating field? See, assume that uh, in a company you got a, assume that you got some job in a, in a particular company, you will be receiving an offer letter or else uh, you had completed some course in an institute, you will be receiving a certificate. So how the certificate will be? The certificate is nothing but indicating that you had completed, like uh, this is how the certificate looks like, right? So this is to certify uh, so and so person, say for example, name, had completed SAP ABAP course from our institute. So this is how the certificate looks like. So this name will be dynamic. So for example, assume that I have some 100 students in my institute and I cannot type the certificate, all the text for all the 100 students repeatedly. The certificate will be same for all the students who had completed SAP web course in my institute. But the only difference will be the name here the certificate style, the layout, the logo, the text, everything will be same, but only the name gets changed. The name will be dynamic here. So here, only I will change the name. So for example, I will be having one screen. In that screen, whatever name I enter, with that particular name, the certificate has to get generated. So this is how it works and assume that this is my requirement. So in this type of scenarios, floating field will be useful in the Adobe forms. Anyways, let us see it practically, then you will clearly understand. So go to SFP transaction code and uh, this is interface to, this is our second program. So create this floating field example. Save it. Done. So go to import here. Uh, create one parameter here, a new parameter. And here I am taking one field called IV underscore name. IV underscore name is a parameter I am taking. And the type of this will be, uh, I will take it, take it as a string. Because it is a name, I am taking it as a string and uh, check this checkbox optional flag now activate this so what i had done here i created one field called name iv name which is of type string now this field we need to make use of in the form let me create a form here this is form two so description here is floating field example so the interface we created is this one save so here you can see in the interface we have field iv name so let me take this field into this form so you simply drag and drop this here done now go to layout now go to layout. So assume that I have a similar type of requirement. Just like I had shown you in the wordpad, I have a similar type of requirement. So I have to design the layout accordingly. So what I will do, so what is the element that you need to use? What happened? Got signed, I guess. So here, what is the element we required here? text so we just drag the text here and I want to print it in the midway so whatever text you required you can write it here so this this is to certify that name give some name here that what is the text 
had completed one second had completed sap abap course from our institute so this is the course I'm sorry this is the text so here the name should be dynamic the name should be dynamic whoever complete the course will receive the certificate with same text but the name will be dynamic so this name i will give it as an input suppose if i give my name as input the certificate should get get generated with my name suppose if i give some other name as input the certificate has to generate with that particular name so the location of the text you can place it wherever you want so once the text part is completed so here so what is the concept that we are looking into this what is the concept that we are looking in this session floating field so here this name will be the floating field so how to declare this particular name this particular text or this particular word as a floating field means you simply select this field we select this field right click on it and you can see here we have an option called floating field so whatever text or word or whatever thing you want to make it as a floating field you just select that right click on it go to floating field so now you can see it became a text field here then once it it has converted into a floating field once it is converted into floating field if you double click on this if you double click on this text field you can see an option here called binding so this is the important step if you double click on this text field you can see here an option called binding so go to this binding and click here go to your interface name and select the field that you had created right save it close now activate this done so now execute this so here this will be the input field so whatever name you give here so for example say harsha reddy execute this lp01 print preview open the file so now you can see the certificate is getting i mean the text is getting printed with the provided name and you can see i had given the combination of small and capital letters but here i am getting complete capital letters so what you can do here is go back execute again so if your text is case sensitive check this check box and provide the text again execute lp01 open the file so now you can see the text is getting printed as it is let me give some other name we shall execute so it is getting printed as to so here the text can be anything you can write a complete page text but the floating field will get changed accordingly as per your provided input so you can convert this concept floating field to your requirement accordingly in the real time